Now, our previous Mechathune deck was pretty good, but I feel like the whole quest package is excessive, so I'm gonna trim the fat here. Cut the sh off this crust sandwich. No, cut the crust off this sh sandwich. There you go. So we're gonna take this out, take out the quest, take out plot twist, take out questing explorer, and just put more general card draw in here. And maybe try out Death Charge, which blows people up. This is a one mana Doomsayer ish, so I think there's some potential. Let's try it out. Ha! This guy's toast. Priest? Oh, right. Quest Priest didn't get nerfed. Ugh. These are all removal cards, which is fine against Priest, but I think because they have such a slow early game, what you're looking for is just hitting all your card draw ASAP. Blessings to you. Mm, no card draw. Unless you count Mortal Coil, which you really shouldn't. If he gets a big res board, I can wipe it twice with two Plague of Flames. He also has Silence. I gotta watch out. Blessings to you. The silence can be good against me. If he silences my Doomsayer and it's stuck on the board for the entire game. He's gonna regret healing me. Brilliant. He's trying to BM by healing me, huh? Well, I'll show you, priest. Nobody heals me. In my best interest to not heal him. Jesus Christ, this hand though. One shot, one kill. You can't restore health if I'm healing myself. That's uh, what we call a slant rhyme. Good lord. I know Priest doesn't do anything forever, but this is taking it to a whole nother level. It's coming up onto his turn six. I'm trying to think what he can have. Is this just actually AFK Priest? It could be Res Priest who just did not hit any of his mid game minions. The damn tragedy is what it is. Need. All right, man. You're at ten cards. You got. You got to play something here. Oh, this no me. Okay, that's actually a really good mill for us. He's coming up on his eight drop turn. Eight drops, eight drops, I can drop on eight. Katrina Moite. That's about it. Unity, precision, perfection. Draws this game has been a little awkward for us. But we're we just have eleven cards left. There's the first minion. Primitive. Gonna drop the Doomsayer here. I should still be tapping every single turn. He could play the Resurrect just to have things in his res pool. Sorry, uh, Zarek's cloning gallery. If I was him, I would play it. I wouldn't hold it. Just, like, just get it out. There. Mind if I roll need? Jesus Christ. One shot, one kill. Ah, uh, Jesus. Actual Christ. What the hell is this hand? My hand is full. I drew most of my one cost, and the remaining cards are Novice, Engineer, and Mechathon, which makes Solarium yeah, so risky to play. Yeah. Yeah.
double novice engineer at the very end it means I have to I have to eat five points of fatigue here with solarium into double novice engineer into mechanism. Or I can hope that I win the one in twenty five. Oh god. Well, I mean, look, if novice engineer is in the bottom two cards, I think we'll be fine. Or if Mechathun's at the top, we can play Solarian. There's some sequencing where it's really good. I would say 80% of the time, I can get okay sequencing. Worst case scenario is Novice Engineer is literally at the bottom. I guess I can discard them. I can just play this, right? Okay, so now I can play Solarium, so I don't have to play the Novice Engineer. Okay, um, I can Godfrey, and then Zephyrus can give me Twisting Nether. Because Zephyrus is always going to give me something really hard to play, right? So if I hold Zephyrus for one turn and he floods the board, I can play Twisting Nether. Where's Twisting Nether? Wait, Dread Infernal's fine. What has vermin? Let's make sure I have a card for this. I need to do this just to make sure uh, I don't screw myself. Like he removes my minion, and I got no way to play the Grim Rally. You really should play Quest if he was to kill me. Did you? Mm, fellow warlock, have you seen the light and realized Mechathun warlock is the way? These are all card draw. Not bad. I'll take it. Warlock, really? What would your mother say? Ooh, Death Charge. Perfect top deck. Literally the best card in my entire deck. I guess you could so far it if you want. The fires of vengeance burn Wait. 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 Did you read the card? Is it a bot? Or is it someone who can't read? But a bot would be programmed not to play into Death Charge, right? Hello? Wow, he's still gonna keep going. Wow, I admire that. The human spirit is abdominable. Like yes, that's hey, the phrase. Toast, yes. Normally I tap, but... It's a zoo warlock, so you want to kind of have little minions on the board to fight. Are there ways to test if it's a bot? Yeah, there's a couple. I hope you like my invention. Here's what we can do. We can count the time between his play. Yeah, there it is. It's not a bot, it's just someone who couldn't read. Paladin? 
Paladin. What kind of Paladin decks are there? I'm gonna keep Dark Skies just in case. There's some kind of weird aggro Paladin. Could be Racist Paladin too. He kept four cards, so his opener is gonna be pretty nuts. When a deck keeps four cards, they're most likely aggro. Control decks don't keep four cards. Yeah, it's aggro. Yeah, it's aggro. Let's just deal with this for now. This is a mech, right? Hot air balloon. I should also try and draw some cards so Dark Skies deal more damage. I could have tapped there, but it's not a big deal. Converting stored energy. I'll just uh, voodoo doll that. Because it's just going to get super annoying, especially if it attaches more minions onto it. Now I force him to attach the minions onto the gal galvanizer. And then uh, Zephyrus can potentially give me a silence. He's not killing that. Reporting for duty. This I don't really agree with. Ooh, that's a bad buff target. They go flames. Not bad. Mind if I roll me? He doesn't have a uh, card draw. So he better top deck some big stuff. Here. Out it, out it. That would be a pseudo big stuff. It's not like a real big stuff. That's a big, big stuff. I need to have eight cards in my hand, right? Keep hey, the board. What do you know? Eight cards in hand. Hopefully, he doesn't run too much burst. If he attaches a Wargy onto that, we'll just play go flames it. This is extremely obnoxious for the record. Ooh, this might give me silence. Your wish is my suggestion. The word pain, healing touch. Where's the silence? Wait, Shadow Word Pain is better than silence. Thank you, Zephyrus. This deck does surprisingly well against aggro because you have so much cheap minions. Okay, he's just gonna smart me. Okay. A magnificent idea. I need to tap into my heals. All my draws. He's gonna keep smorking me. Maybe he has like Leroy into Blessing of Kings as a finisher. And that's what he's setting up for. That would be really annoying if it's true. Menace, not a big deal. He's just gonna keep hitting me in the face. God knows he doesn't want to use his brain to think about his plays. Galvanizer. Doctor Shore. You like my invention? Doctor Shore. I'll charge up. Someone call for the. I'll charge It's actually scary leaving even one minion up because of uh, magnetic. Could plague of flames here just to be super safe. I want to do that though. Uh, I think safety comes first. He could play snip snap for a board full of stuff. Oh wow. Okay, that's alright. I mean, those are direct damage that's always gonna hit. Please tell me he doesn't have more direct damage. So Azalina Sophie with a 9 mana Mechathune and a Plague of Flames. Okay. I mean, the cards he got 
I'm pretty much all control cards, right? If I tap, I'm gonna die to a truce with top deck, so I actually can't tap you. I know exactly what cards he has, these four, right? I just gotta play around it. I'm surprised he didn't just drop the mecha soon there. Eh, he could do it now, I suppose. Reporting for duty. Hey! I got you, friend. Hey! I got you, friend. Why didn't he just play his mecha thune? Is he trying to OTK combo me? That would be next level, big brain. Unity, precision, perfection. Seven, nine. I want to tap. I think we have to, right? Ah, oh, Solarium might end up killing me here. Oh my god, that's good. I'm doing this so I can get potentially more healing with Zilliax. Dark Sky, uh, Solarium ideally discards Loot Hoarder. That would be dream scenario. If it doesn't discard Loot Hoarder, I'm going to take a lot more damage. Who are we hitting today? Reporting for duty. That's good. That's smart of him. Don't don't draw loot hoarder. Discard loot hoarder. Discard loot hoarder. Discard loot hoarder. Discard loot hoarder. Yes. Oh crap! My last card's a uh, Godfrey though. That is not so. Yes. So essentially what we want to do here is to uh you know say goodbye to all the cards in our hand. <laughs> Next turn we're gonna Godfrey Doomsayer. And we should Doomsayer this turn and then like Godfrey Plague of Flames next turn. Although I can do all of that, right? This clears the board. <laughs> yeah, this clears the board. Exactly. Okay, Godfrey into Plague of Flames or Grim Rally. Godfrey into Grim Rally because he just might leave all my Godfrey for the entire game. If he tops that true silver here, I'm dead. I wonder. With the whole punching thing. I'm trying to draw true silver right now. Unity, precision, perfection. If he doesn't draw it, we should be okay. Unless he has a Leroy Jenkins up his butt. It's always better to finish with a Mecha Tomb. Because he might play like cards that summon you random minions. So this needs to be Leroy. Warlock. Uh, most common warlocks are handlocks or Galaxon or maybe a mix of both. So I'm gonna keep Death Charge in case and Godfrey in case it's the more popular Zuwok list. And Godfrey, I think, is just a great clear. He did full mulligan though. Full mulliganing generally indicates handlock because there's only a couple of cards you want to start with. Yeah, that's probably handlock. It's okay, we got Plague of Flames to deal with Mountain Giants. And Voodoo Dolls. Depends on what he does here. Uh, sir? Did you need to go to the bathroom? No. Oh, yep. He just took a quick... Quick pee break. If it's hand lock, we want to have 8 cards in hand. So we can Dark Skies his Mountain Giant. Or whatever. Or Twilight Drake. You tap your go nine cards. Twilight Drake will have eight health, which would dar to dark skies. Bones of the fall. Dragon like cultist. What? I thought you're supposed to be not aggro. That's annoying. One shot, one kill. Someone 
It's gonna be mana efficient. If he kills the death charge, at least I'll have a 2 1. You get Twilight Drake, it'll survive with 1 health. He has to read the card Death Charge because I think this is the first time he's seen it. Mm -hmm. There's Galakron Hand Lock, I believe. With double Sack Pack, and then you Sack Pack the Imps you summon, and you try and overwhelm your opponent with infinite 1 1s. I seen it. It's a weird deck. Essentially a hybrid of Zoo Galakron and Handlock Galakron. Just gonna throw in another uh, Death Charge here. You want to play into it? Be my guest. I could sol wait. I can't Solarium here because if I hit either Galvanizer or Mechatoon, I'm screwed. It's not like just hitting one card. It's hitting two cards. Double the screwage. You could always Hero Power, sir. Wow. Oh, okay, now we can do it. Oh, I hit Plague of Flames. That's sad. I want to keep that. That's a really good card. I think we are okay with tapping here, right? How much card draws are left in my deck? One, two, three, four. Not a lot of card draw. I'll hero power instead. Those are two really good discards. Voodoo Doll and Plague of Flames. Those are some of the good ones. But this is only a three attack minion, so we don't we don't really give a hoot about him. I hope you like my invention. Yeah, three damage isn't enough for me to panic just yet. I will act as your scale. Without Valdris, my draw is significantly weaker. But without Valdris, I don't run the risk of bottom decking Valdris and dying to fatigue. So, you know, a little column A, a little column B. Without Valdris, my card draw is way less. I might put Loot Hoarder back in with the removal of Valdris. The remaining card draw in my deck is a Novice Engineer and a so Mortal Coil. So you get draw three extra cards. Which means if I tap twice each turn... Gonna trade. Dark Skies will deal 10 damage here, right? Probably just leave up a 1-1 one, one imp or the 3-6, in which case we just call it. Oh, if you're sure. ever coil my own unit here. Well, I think the risk with that is um, I give him a free board, but it's only a 1-1. One, one. But this 1-1 one, one can represent one extra minion with Plague of Flames. But 1-1s one, are hard to come by too, so... Mm. Maybe I chill on it. Galakron will summon a bunch of 4 demons. Well, 2 demons right now. He needs to upgrade it once more. 4 random demons. I hope Novice Engineer isn't my last card. That would be a huge problem if it was. I'll hit in just to make sure I get the heal. He could have like Spellbreaker and it hit me in the face, in which case I'll be really sad. Yeah, let's hope Novice Engineer isn't my last card. Imagine if Novice Engineer was Valdris. Can I keep my board clears up until the last second? I gotta take my horse to the Old Town Road. He's gonna trade and heal me? Why is he being such a bro? Suspect. Trade Netherwing. 
There's not a dragon in hand. I don't know if I want to draw cards right now. One shot, one kill. I need time to spend the mana on these cards, right? Especially Zephyrus. Oh god. I'll be honest, Zephyrus kind of screws me because he always gives me a he very heavy costed card, which is not very nice of Zephyrus to do. I know he's trying to help us out and all, but not very nice for us. Like, Dark Sky is a decent removal. This will be a massive okay, Godspring as well. Yes. Too expensive, please. Edwin's pretty cheap. I find that Zephyrus give Edwin pretty often. I can Doomsayer and Edwin here, right? I could just tap. I tap. Next turn, do I have a time to play everything? Four mana. Four plus six plus nine plus ten. Yeah, technically I do. Yeah, now this is my last card. Which means I'm gonna take an extra point of fatigue, but again, the novice engineer could have been Veltris yes, Felgorge, yes, so you take the good with the bad. Take the good with the bad. Unity, precision, perfection. Cards are you play this. Now, technically, the best play would be to do this. Uh, what if he silences my Doomsayer? Oh, yeah, what if he silences my Doomsayer? <laughs> and I should open with Plague of Flames instead. Like, finish with Plague of Flames. Yeah, what if, right? What if? This is the safe play. Plague of Flames luckily counters, like, if he, si let's say he kills this unit, and I can't kill my units, which is why Plague of Flames sometimes is better as your finale to play around, like, silence shenanigans, or he kills this and doesn't play minions, and kills that, and all I have is two, two damage on the board. A cheeky bugger can counter my plays. There's a lot of cheeky buggers out there. Cheeky, cheeky buggers. So many possibilities. Hand up, the dragon lord. The dragon lord. <laughs> destroying my big so that he could play. Out of time. So that he can play. What can you play? Twilight Drake. I'm gonna play something a little better than the Twilight Drake. Called the Mechathune Instant Win Condition. You fought well, Mr. Galacron Hand Zoo Warlock. But we all know who the better warlock is. The warlock who knows to make sure to coin before playing Plague of Flames. Or else his combo wouldn't work. And he would look so embarrassed on the internet. Hmm. A mage. Oh god, mages can get random polymorphs. And if it's the mage I'm playing against, they definitely will get. Sorry, not random polymorph, random pyroblast. Every time I play against the mage as warlock, they always have pyroblast. Which is the ultimate anti warlock card, because I'm tapping my life away. I took out Valdris Felgorge, because I feel like if I draw him late, it's such a huge punishment. Worse than Solarium. Like, Solarium sucks already, but it only costs one mana. 
Yeah, cards like Solarium and Felgorge are fine. Ninety percent of the time, but ten percent of the time it will lose you the game. And that's just a little too much for me. Just gonna unblock him. I actually like Death Charge a lot. It's a mini Doomsayer. <laughs> So I have to go with Zilliax as um, the replacement for Felgorge because it's removal and heal and it's like kind of cheap. Not like extremely cheap, but kind of cheap. Not to just play it right now. It's super annoying for the dealer. He needs to paint his shield off. If he doesn't kill it, I'm just hitting him in the face for more healing. It's mana efficient as well. Dude's got 10 cards. I need to hit Voodoo Doll if I want to deal with the Mountain Giant. That's fine, you go powered into an RT, but I thought that. What you gonna do? Double Arcane. Oh, Arcane Breath made Arcane Breath. Into making another Arcane Breath? That's the dream here. Ooh, wasting the coin? I don't like that one bit. Amazing. We won't kill our own Thalnos because I feel like saving the threat of double damage Mortal Quo is pretty good. Ready for a show? She's power of creation here. We can just uh, play your flames. So, yep, there it is. Tote cool, tote cool. And also double Mortal Coil, the 4-4, four four, but probably not worth it. He's thinking a lot. Please don't be Karen Budhoof. Oh, anything with Death Rattle? Ooh, Reno. Hello there. Mm, can we do anything before we have to do this? Yeah. One shot, one shot. Play a flame into uh, Doomsday, right? Ooh, Voodoo Doll. That's gonna be real handy. Luna's Pocket Galaxy off of Fire Tree Witch Doctor. Oh, Solarium, not a bad pickup. Oh, that's a head Mega Thu. Mega Thu. Oh, what are the odds? One in three and twelve, which is twenty-five percent, right? That's not that high. Lights out.